this is the B Highway. They're all going into the corner of the house there. And what you're not seeing is me freaking out of the other bees. So all day long we'll watch bees go in there. Wasps, you can probably see them swinging around. So today I'm going to make a real simple wasp or bee trap for you out of an old pop bottle. But I just wanted to show you the beforehand picture. Show you the scope of the problem. If uh, It's a nice, what we used to call an Indian summer day. I don't know if they still call it that or if that's politically incorrect, but it's a beautiful day and all the bees think it's spring so they came out again and I'm going to take advantage of that to go ahead and zap many of them. So let's go inside and I'll show you how we do it. Alright everybody, let's make that insect trap. Here's all you really need. You need a 2 liter soda bottle. You want the kind with the smooth edges there uh, like that. There's some that are more coke bottle looking, but you want the smooth one. And uh, we need something to put in it. So what we're going to use is sugar and I'll get some water and we're going to put as much sugar into the water as we can. So we'll probably heat it up on the stove to really get uh, a ton of sugar in there. And we're also going to color it a nice bright red. So I've got, you know, red food coloring. I've heard somewhere that uh, bees and wasps are attracted to red uh, color better. Uh, so we're going to put that in there. I've used these before and they're really effective. They may take a day or two, but they get hundreds of wasps out of there. So I'll just build this thing. Uh, in front of your very own eyes and uh, put it up and we'll see how it works. You don't need the top, you can discard that. And I usually cut this just where the tapered part turns into a cylinder. Okay. Puncture it, cut it. You need good scissors. Utility scissors work pretty good. two halves, pop out all the densities you just put in here and all we're really going to do is put the nozzle in facing down, push it in so it's level and I'm going to go get some of my wife's packing tape from her eBay business and just seal around the edges here to make it a nice tight seal with that cellophane tape. So let me run and grab that. This is basically what I'm talking about. I'm going to pull off about a foot and just feed it around the top. Halfway across. This keeps the sharp edges from cutting you because they can be sharp and it keeps the thing from accidentally or inadvertently falling apart. All right, that's the business end of our wasp trap. Uh, we need to fill it full of the uh, sugary water. We'll make that next. Other things I've seen people do are to use a little single hole punch, punch a hole here and there and hang it from a string from a branch in a tree if you have a wasp nearby. But since my wasp is up by a ledge, I'm just going to leave this like this and set it up on that ledge. Okay, let's make the bait. Okay, we're at the stove top. Uh, I'm just going to try to make a hot water with a ton of sugar in it, make it a super saturated sugary substance compound. I'm probably going to add about a cup to begin with. It's not exact. Uh, that was a ton. And I'm going to slowly stir that to dissolve all that sugar. Just some generic red food dye. This is the old school bottle form. Drop some in there. When you're using this, the uh, color like that, it's best to use a clear two liter bottle. I know they make brown ones and uh, um, green ones, but uh, you want to use the clear one to show off the color the best. So we'll heat this up and I'll uh, get all the sugar dissolved and then we'll pour it in there and I'll go put it by the bee trap and we're going to start catching bees and wasps and whatever else wants to go in there and meet its maker. Okay, I've got, uh, came to a boil all these sugar dissolved. I added just a little bit more a second ago and I'm going to stir it up one more time, turn the heat off, and pour this mixture into the trap. It's important to make sure the level of the water, and the steam is blocking it right now, but the level of the water is well below the uh, neck of the bottle that you cut to put in there. So I've got about another inch. I'm going to add a little bit more. 
All right, the bees are just swarming out there, the wasps or the whatever they are. Uh, we have that ledge up there by the top of the glass, right about there, that's going to be wide enough for me to set that hot mixture. So I'm going to go ahead and set it in place. It's actually kind of nerve-wracking. Right, we're going to come back in uh, a few hours and check out our handiwork. Okay, yesterday I put together that bee trap and it was a nice hot sunny day in the fall. Today it is probably 60 degrees, maybe 55, wind chill is up there, look at the trees flying along. So that being said, all pretty much uh, bee activity has ceased. So the trap wasn't really tremendously effective I don't think, but I'm going to pull it down and show you what we did get. Alright, they're spinning around a little bit. There's Looks like about a half a dozen, six or seven bees in there, uh, a wasp or two. Um, but shortly after I put this out on the ledge, the cold front came through and the bees pretty much hid. So uh, I'm going to show you another trap that I made a couple of weeks ago using a green, um, a green bottle, and that thing is full of trap or full of bugs. I left it up there for a day or two. Uh, this one not so much, but uh, this is a real inexpensive way to greatly mitigate any kind of bee problem. You can hang it in a tree, set it on a ledge, set it on the ground. Anywhere near the bee source, they'll be attracted and you'll get rid of them quickly. All I'm gonna do with this thing is take it over and throw it in the trash and we're done. And stand by for that other video. Okay, this is the after picture of the two liter bottle wasp or bee trap. You can see floating in there are probably 30 or 40 bees, and the price of this is a leftover 2 liter bottle, maybe half a cup of sugar, and some red dye, food coloring dye. And you can see how many are floating in there. So if you want to do a quick, effective, and cheap trap, don't go to the store and buy a $10 wasp trap. Just recycle your stuff and you can just throw this right in the trash when you're done.